But yeah, looking at the icon, Peter Schmeichel. He's six foot four. He is a three star weak foot, and obviously skill moves doesn't matter. Obviously, only a goalkeeper has some pretty good base stats. In terms of play styles, we've only got three under goalkeeper, and it's going to be far throw, footwork, which means he can save with his feet, and cross claim, which means he comes out for crosses. Now, corners seem to be a little bit broken at this minute, so whether you bring them out manually or don't, they don't seem to react well enough. So this play style isn't technically working properly at the moment from what I've learned or what I've played. Now, saving with your feet is really good, especially when people are doing the low-driven shots, but a lot of people are powering their shots into corner. So it's one of those far throw, it depends on your play style. We have gone for a glove today, and the main reason was just to boost up the position in the handling and the diving. I don't think his reflexes at 91 need to be boosted, and the kicking doesn't really matter. Of course, goalkeeper speeds are what they are. Now, if we jump over to Footbin, we can see that he's coming in around 285,000 coins, which I don't really like to spend a lot of money on goalkeepers because I feel like it depends on how the game are, and there are some bugs in this with goalkeepers at the moment. Of course, we've gone for the glove, which makes him... Like I said, boost up those stats that we need. And overall, we're just going to see how we get on. We are playing in rivals today. And we're just going to see how we get on. We're not going to let the opponent run through and shoot. Because you could just walk around the goalkeeper by using left stick dribble. And no keeper can save that. So we are just going to be jumping into the games. And we're just going to see how we get on. I have played a few games with Shamichael already. And a couple of things I've noticed with goalkeepers in particular. Is that they are great at saving certain shots. And then other ones are not so good at. Doesn't matter who the keeper is. It's how the game is programmed. But we shall see in today's review as we are jumping in a rivals game. Here's our opponent's team. Very nice, strong team here. And let's just see how Shamichael gets on. So straight away, I just want to play it back to the keeper just to show you how big he looks on the pitch. Looks like a standard defender because that's about his height. But again, that's what we want for him to be. Big in that goal. Small goalkeepers never, ever help you in any situation, unfortunately. And Schmeichel does clear up there. Our opponent hasn't really had any chances to get through. We've been absolutely dominating. Because we're playing against two people, they are basically trying to cut across, pass across, as it were, which no keeper can save. But the good thing I like about Schmeichel is his position. Is he doesn't come out for the crosses or anything like that in terms of low-driven passes. He sits nicely in the box. So we get ourselves a good save from their keeper there. Got himself on the edge of the box there, but opponent just refuses to shoot. Got through. And that's what I'm saying there. No keeper can save those shots. It went top corner. We'll show you the replay. If he does, he doesn't. We'll look back at it later. But this is what I'm saying about this game. There are certain shots that no keeper can save. And that one's a particular one where they just rifle it into the corner like that. And this is a problem in terms of goalkeepers in general. If you've got someone that just shoots directly at the keeper, 9 out of 10 times he saves it unless he's a really bad keeper. But people have already learned how to shoot in the top corners of angles already. Meaning that no keeper can save them. I've got this as a one-on-one -on -one situation. They're going to bring Smike out on the edge of the box. He's gone for the lob. And it's gone wide. And this is another issue in one-on-one -on -one situations. But that was very good speed from Schmeichel to force a miss. So we will credit him for that. This is where you're going to find yourself in those situations where those are going to obviously happen at some point. Some person's going to find their way through. I've got this as a one-on-one -on -one situation. Can Schmeichel save it? And he can't. And that one he should have saved. I let him shoot that to see if Schmeichel can save those chances. And he couldn't, unfortunately. That's not the best one again. But again, people are using power shots to get the goals where you can manipulate goalkeepers. Now, if we have a look at Schmeichel's halftime stats, I let the opponent have one shot. And I've let him obviously play. And he scored that one goal that he scored, which we didn't let him shoot. And you can see here, we go down Schmeichel. is on a 4.0. And the main reason is because he's basically made no saves. And this is where I'm saying about the issue. Two shots have been on target. One right in the top corner, as you can see there. And another one, middle of the goal, perfect height. Now, we will go over these goals afterwards and have a look in replays and talk about it. But I do want to stress that it isn't just down to the goalkeeper. It's down to how EA have coded the goalkeepers in-game. So this is the problem that most goalkeepers have in general. And this is why I don't like to spend a lot of coins in general on top, top goalkeepers. Because what you can do is just walk around them like this. And then you get an easy goal if a tackle didn't defend us or the defender didn't tackle us, sorry. And that's the issue you have with goalkeepers this year so far until they patch them or do something about it. Like you should drag it to the floor and then you can just slide it into an open goal just like that. That's how easy it is to score against any goalkeeper at the moment until they patch it. So I just want that to be like... I want people to understand that's what I'm saying when I say about goalkeepers not doing well in certain situations. It isn't down to the player or the goalkeeper. It's just down to how it's been coded in the game. Now that I've kind of rectified that and explained that, we shouldn't have to talk about it anymore now. 
So you can see our opponent's refusing to uh, shoot normally. He wants to get that angle across goal. That is a very good save, though, from Schmeichel, I have to admit. Blocking that pass is massive. And that's that playstyle plus coming in, or playstyle in general, sorry, we're using his feet to save. Because if he doesn't have that, that's an easy pass across goal. And, of course, an easy goal into an open goal to score. So that was actually very impressive from him, I have to say. Now we've got ourselves in a situation here. Bad touch, good defence. Let's see if Michael can save it on an angle. Very close. And again, unfortunately, he doesn't. That's a harder shot. Here's what I'm trying to do is get our opponent to take normal shots. But all they're doing is trying to get as close as they can to manipulate the game and get the goals, which is a shame. Because you don't really get to see what a goalkeeper looks like. Yes, there's going to be saves that he makes that are amazing. But when you're playing at this level in divisions, people are just trying to, of course, as you'd expect, to win the game. Which is a bit frustrating because you don't get any goals. Just like I'm doing the same thing, banging it into top corners. It's very difficult to be a goalkeeper in FC24. That is for sure. You do not get clean sheets unless they raise quit at 1 0 down or 0 0. Well, let's let him run through 1 on 1. Let's see how he does now because he has to shoot early. We're going to bring Schmeichel onto the edge of the box. Keep him in the goal this time. And again, did he save that? I don't know. We'll say that he did well and covered his angle there. But I didn't want to bring him out too far because, again, you can get around the keeper. But that looked like a very good position from him. And again, we'll count that as a save onto the post. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we can have a look on the replay afterwards. We'll have to see. Okay, that one counts as a save for Schmeichel. We will hold the ball up. There we go. We get him up now. We're going to try out this long throw to see how well he does with it. So, see what the trait does. So, I mean, that is an incredible pass on the counter attack. We get a goal from this. That's all come from Schmeichel's long throw. So, having to place out a long throw or far throw looks like it's going to be a great thing there. That was a crazy pass from Schmeichel, I have to say. That's something that's been absolutely outstanding. His position, I have to say, has been very, very good, considering the possibilities and the unfortunateness of the game and what's happened in terms of coding. But... Is he worth 250,000 coins? I personally don't know. And like I said, I don't like to spend much on goalkeepers unless they are really, really broken. I haven't had a chance to test out Yashin or Van der Sar as of yet. So normally they are the best keepers in the game because of how tall they are. But I haven't had my chance, had a chance to get my hands on them. So we'll have to see. And that's full time. So we are going to go have a look at his statistics. And then we're going to have a look on the replay. Hopefully there are some goals to show you that what he's done. So again, like I was mentioning, it's really hard to do a goalkeeper review because of the problems that EA have put on goalkeepers at the same time. So these are all my goals. Let's have a look at this Rafinha effort, where I believe this is one of the first problems in the game. Because if you look here, no keeper can save that. That is literally top corner. As you can see there, that is near impossible. That's not Schmeichel's fault. That isn't anyone's fault in terms of goalkeeper. Even if I've moved him with goalkeeper movement, he is not saving it. Now, this shot, I believe he should have saved. We let our opponent run through into the situation here. We're going to move a bit closer. And as you can see from this angle, he's got the position is perfect. He's in the middle of the goals where we need him to be. He then shuffles over to his near post, which is where we want. I put the defender there to try stop it because I know this is going in. And as you can see, this is where EA have made the mistake. He should be diving outwards to save it, but he's diving backwards to save it. And you'll see now with this motion here, he doesn't step with that right foot or left foot that he's diving with. He just rolls down. And that's where the coding has gone wrong with goalkeepers. That isn't Schmeichel's fault, anything like that. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Then we have ourselves the other shot here, which is where they just got as close as they can. Again, no keeper can save this. But if you look at Schmeichel's positioning, he is in the perfect position. Middle of the goal. I mean, actually looking at it, you could probably argue he should save that, to be honest. Let's have a look if it goes through his glove. So there again is another issue where the ball has actually gone through his hand. And this is the problem you have with goalkeepers. So I think if the game was patched or a patch comes in, Schmeichel saves that and we're saying how good he is. And that is a shame because this is a problem with goalkeepers at the moment. So in my opinion, I wouldn't go out and buy any keepers for your team at the moment. I would just wait until they patch it. Use your goal players that you have or anyone that you've packed. But let's go jump onto footbin now. So it's about 280,000 coins at the moment. And like I said, prices are a little bit all over the place because we actually are playing this before the game's officially out. Comes out tomorrow as of recording, but obviously I've had a game to week to play it because of early access and etc. And I don't know what to say with prices just yet because the market is so up and down very, very rapidly. So it's one of those we'll have to see. But like I said, what you saw in those replays of the goals, the keepers are kind of broken in terms of coding at the moment. And there is a little bit of lacking of what you can and can't do with certain players and goalkeepers until they patch them. So it's really hard to judge 
whether they should or should not save certain things. What I will say is, though, Schmeichel's positioning is perfect for a goalkeeper. That's something they've got right with him. If he's a little bit taller, properly saves him, we don't know. The play styles he has are fantastic, though, for a goalkeeper. Save with your feet is massive. We saw that with that pass that he stopped. And also the throw that we did with the, the secondary assist with him into the counter-attack. That's going to be broken for a very, very long time. I'm sure of it. But again, it's really hard to judge. I think Glove's the best chem style to go for. Or even just a basic and keep him on basic. You just want to maximise the handling, the diving and the positioning and reflexes if you can. But hopefully this has helped you in some sort of way. Obviously, when we get patches, we'll be covering certain players again, etc. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.